Okay, chat. Let's get back to this. See how we get on. Where have I put my headphones? Okay. Let's just change the thing. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm sorry chat, I just coughed at you. Why can I not hear anything? Hold on. But why? Oh, there we go. Why is my... <laughs> Oh my god, the level of dumb is so strong today. Okay, I look so stupid. Okay. But we don't need to care about what we look like. We just need to care about the art. Okay. Um, let's do this again then. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> Let's get this stuff. Okay, so let's have a go with this and see how we get on. Let's start with mid tone. Where is my mid tone? Um, Is that my new... that's blue. Where do I put my, uh... That's the horrible warm white. Where did I put my other white? Oh man. Colour for this one. Why does everything have to be so stressful? Okay, where is my tone? There. Why is my... Ugh, why is this missing frames? Okay, whatever man, let's do it. Let's just do it. See how we get on. What's he doing here? That's kind of dark. Yeah, I so need more lighting on this. <laughs> hey, Skewer Wings, how you doing? Thanks for dropping in to this exciting stream of extra largeness. We've got the bigness going on right here. Um, I hope you're well and that you can hear me okay on the new mic. <laughs> I'm trying really hard not to laugh too loudly. I'm not sure about my noise gate. I think it's dubious. Appreciate you hanging out. 
It's quite a rainy afternoon where I am. I like the rain. Uh, I've had to turn my flat into kind of a cave so that I can close. My windows aren't going to be shown. I <laughs> joys of streaming and considering personal safety is cool. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. I'm alright, I'm just having a stressful afternoon because I'm trying to stream. <laughs> Which is not really how it should be at all. Uh, but yeah. I'm the opposite of loud. I'm too quiet, am I? I should be okay. My levels... I think I need to adjust my noise gate. Uh, because, which I, I don't know, I just... <laughs> I started now, so I can't really be bothered to kind of keep going. Uh, well, kind of changing stuff. Uh, but hopefully you can hear what I'm saying, even if I am kind of quiet. So I have a new, new mic, a wireless mic, that means that I'm away from my usual workspace. That well, means that I can get away from my usual mic and my usual workspace. So same Go XLR, but different mic. So it's a different Rode mic. I love Rode, Rode, Rode stuff. It's cool. So I've been wanting to work larger for quite a long time and I've been putting it off because of my worse uh, and because of the technical issues I had to consider. I'm doing this. So this is the first time I've worked large on streaming, and I've worked, I mean, I've worked much larger than this. Sort of, you know, six feet by six feet, but no way I can <laughs> work that large where I currently live. And will probably live forever more. Now it's good, it's probably because I am uh, not trying to be as quiet. Uh, so I need to speak up is what you're saying, which is useful feedback. I really do appreciate the feedback because that's helpful feedback. Yay, helpful feedback. Uh, I'm not really paying enough attention because I'm kind of stressed out over working large and getting the technical stuff right. I'm not kind of in the right space to <laughs> be concentrating terribly well. This is such a good track. What shall I do? I think that, I mean, this is slight, I don't know, it's slightly more, yeah, it's quite a lot more textured than um, what I've been recently working on with the pastel work. Maybe it's too textured. Maybe I still need to keep going for like really smooth stuff. We do have some other paper we can try is larger but I just need to press harder what I'm doing so I get less texture coming out hopefully the um, texture is kind of coming across it's really difficult because you want to be able to show the size of the thing that you're working on to the stream but then you lose the fidelity because of the it just you can't because it's too far away hello chat all the way back there um, just can't get the the fine detail which is what often makes art streams interesting uh, rather than a random person wittering on about stuff um okay what was i doing can't even do remote emotes that would be a chance for a hum in the chat I need to kind of concentrate on what I'm doing. Try and get over the technical woes. Yeah, actually, I think 
So the way that I'm coming across too quiet, I need to work on my compressor for this particular mic. Compression even. Uh, but I can sort that out another time. Where's the really dark? What's this? Oh yeah, it's black. Maybe we can park them along the bottom. Well, that might be an idea. There's my mid. Let's put this pencil down here because I do not need it at the moment. Yeah, I don't like this paper very much. Except I've got an entire pad of it. <laughs> Which is kind of dumb. Uh, why am I not famous? Because I'm not. <laughs> this is not good art, but I do appreciate your kind words, but this is not good because it's not finished yet and it's the first time I've worked large and I need to spend more time in it. It just is. There's no value judgment to it, it just exists. Exist as an artwork. And a great many people would disagree with you that my work is good. I think some of my work is good. I'm happy with it. But most people would disagree with you. I mean, that's a larger question in terms of, you know, why are artists not supported more or makers or creators supported more in what they're doing? That's an interesting larger question uh, in terms of the value we place on certain things within society. Uh, yeah, this is bad. I mean, this is, which is fine. This is bad art. Yay! We did some bad art making two weeks ago. That's what we did. We did some terrible, deliberately bad art where we were playing with Rebel 4 and learning how to use that. Except we weren't really learning. We were just kind of mind-numbingly colouring <laughs> and blending. Just kind of not exactly what I wanted to be doing. So this is interesting working larger because obviously before I wasn't having to cover such large areas so I could be more spontaneous in what I was doing in terms of my gestures, more gestural. Now I need to cover larger areas. Whoops, as I, I'm really glad I have floor protection right now. Um, just because of the, the sheer need to scale up, which is, uh, is interesting and what that could mean for my work or my practice, good or ill.
So it might be, I mean, just thinking about scaling stuff up, it might be that I need to invest in some oil bars because they're fatter. Uh, or work with something like watercolour where I can use a larger brush. But just work quickly and more gesturally. I don't know. We'll see how we get on. I mean, this is bad, but I mean, it's not finished yet, so it's fine to be, for it to be bad. Fine to be bad. I mean, it could be that the just working larger just isn't possible on stream. But I feel like it's important to try. I think it's interesting to see artists working at different scales if they're, you know, if that's what they want to do. Mm. Yeah, as long as I've tried. Yeah, I do not like this paper. I do not like you. This reminds me that I need to work on my upper body strength. <laughs> hey, thanks for hanging out and dropping in. I do appreciate it, school wings. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Enjoy. This is too blocky and it's just two together and just as bad. 
But let us persevere. <laughs> Keep going with the bad. Woo! It's just the warm up, right? Yeah, totally. Totally the warm up. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. The compression is weird. I need more compressor on my mic. More compressor required. Yeah, talking of upper body strength, I went swimming this week, or last week I should say, sorry, for I went lane swimming for the first time in about, I don't know, 10, 15 or 20 years, uh, and it was really good, but just drilled home how diabolically awful my upper body and arm strength is. As somebody who used to take pride in uh, being fairly sturdy, terms of uh, strength I've completely lost that which is worrying as you get older yeah I'm booked booked in to go swimming again this week should be great I'm actually looking forward to exercise which is a bit disturbing <laughs> in the correct category hold on um 
Possibly. You just check, chat. Okay, let's go and have a look. Me wandering around my flat. <clears throat> Category even? Category. Yeah, swimming was swimming was good, but people's lane discipline. I don't know whether it's always been like that. <laughs> My favourite moment was I was so I got in in the slow lane, which is the uber slow lane. So I looked and I thought, okay, I've not been swimming in forever. I'm really out of shape. Let's get in the uber slow, well the slow lane, which is the uber slow lane. Found that. Well, it was really, really busy. It's the busiest lane and people were going mind-bogglingly slowly. So then I swapped to the, the middle lane and that was my, my cup of tea. And then I went to the fast lane and did a couple of lengths and then gave up. Uh, but the, yeah, I was going down the mid, in the, the medium lane and there was a woman in front of me who was having a chat with her mate in the slow lane as she swam down the lane and she apologized which is fine but i was <laughs> my mind was just boggled i was like how in any way what you want to do is you want to chat to your mate if so get out of the pool chat to your mate it's not a problem don't go at the speed of snail in the medium lane whilst talking to your friend because that's what you actually want to do you want to socialize that's fine Get out of the pool or stand at the end of the line on the correct side so people can do turns. But no, that was, it was kind of fascinating. The joys of being around other people. Is it hell is other people or whatever? <laughs> kind of interesting. This is bad, 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 bad art. Do not like. That's okay going the thing sort of working larger I can't sort of bang them out as quickly I don't think with the same level of finish which might then impact what I want to do so again interesting see how that ends up being
Ugh, gross art. <laughs> Art that isn't working, that is bad. So I, I, I need to find a different way of working. So I either need smoother paper or find a different way of working more quickly or and or, or all of it and or uh, find use a larger uh, thing to work with so I can make bigger marks more quickly or change my style or I don't know what. Just get a grip. Um, yeah, but that's the point of experimenting and trying stuff out, right? Is to see whether stuff works, whether it's feasible for you. Or not. The other thing I've not really done any of is kind of finger work on this, is smudging and stuff. So I need less texture, but then more texture in some places. So I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I just need to sort of keep working into it. Because I did a re I did a piece I liked. Oh god, it must have been like five million years ago. Um, but I did work. Like, I worked. So I was watching streams of what was it? It was oh God of War, which is a really fun game to watch people stream. And I was watching kind of the way that you can kind of the main character kind of fights, and I was drawing really quickly. And I think this is maybe something I need to try with the next one is not spend as long doing very refined kind of stuff. Oh, hey, hey Katabuki, hello. Um, oh, good for you in the job application. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to working large, <laughs> which has been really stressful at various points today. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see how we get on. Um, I hope your day has been a good one so far. Yeah, so I think the, this, keep going with the, I mean, it's, I'm hating it less now I'm looking at it. But I mean, clearly it's really lumpen and kind of different from previous stuff. So I need to get more layering or pencil drawing or something and just break it up. But I mean, it's a, literally the first one, so I need to get over myself. But I can at least say that the uh, stream music is good today. Of course, the last uh, stream music I listened to was that one from that supposed DMCA free playlist. And the one track that I like the most out of that, that I repeated twice, is the one that got flagged to DMCA. <laughs> Which is like always how it is. Uh, because the, I don't know what the rights were. Because I didn't check, because I was relying on somebody else. So yeah, I had to take that out of rotation. <laughs> Uh, oh, you like what I'm doing? Yeah, bless you, Katabuki. Yeah, it's just, you know, it is what it is. It's a uh, work in progress. It's the first one I've done today, so... Uh, yeah, I am hating it a bit less as I go. Woo! Yeah, the uh, getting the stream set up. I put this off for quite a while and then I plugged everything in and then I was getting interference on my mic except it wasn't hearable over the stream it was just my headphones and then I started streaming then I went over to get a drink and then I had to restart the stream and yeah 
I spent a long time moving my easel around and then I was like, well, do I need to have the curtains open or closed? Do I need them partially open, partially closed? How can I make this work? <clears throat> How can I actually let people see, give people enough detail, but then get the whole thing in? Complicated. It is complicated. The bottom half is great. It looks very 3D. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, this, you know, it, it's getting there. I need a... Uh, I think it could do with more layering of stuff. I mean, I, I hate it slightly less than I did, but I mean, I always do that. Always saying that everything is terrible. Katabuki, did you see there's another air gallery open call? And hopefully, I bet you now, because I've got the different mic, you can hear the sound of ambulances going past my flat. Uh, yeah, there's another air gallery, and the open call deadline is July. It's five pounds per work to enter. Um, I think you said you were going to enter for one of them before. But uh, I've shown there once, really lovely people, small, nice artist run space with other creative stuff going on there. I think they had a tattoo studio and music practice places. It's relatively, it's an auction, which is really nice. It's kind of a bit bougie, uh, but yeah, nice space sort of 10 minutes walk from the station where it's nearest. And then it's from Manchester uh, city centre. It's really not far at all. I think it's, oh, I can't even remember now. It's like 20 minutes on the train or tram. It's super easy to get to. Uh, so would recommend. And this, the space is quite small. I'm trying to think about, so it's a bit like um, uh, open OHOS. Kind of quite small, maybe a bit bigger, bigger main rooms. Uh, kind of actually no it is quite similar but it seems to have quite a strong the work collections they show there seem quite strong and they seem to be quite into sort of nerdy weird stuff hence the game work getting selected which is really interesting when I think back because it's all about you growing and progressing as an artist the stuff that I sent to that and how I probably wouldn't display it in the same way. It's kind of, yeah, progress. Progress. There we go, let's do this. Oh, the other thing I can obviously try is working on different paper. So it's smoother, which I do. I think I have some thick cartridge that should be smoother. I mean, this is still cartridge that's relatively smooth. I've spent so much money on paper that I then get and don't like. And it's not exactly like you can send stuff back because you've made, you know, one tiny mark on an entire booklet of paper. <laughs> it's so annoying. Like, I would buy discounted paper if it had been, if one sheet had been used and it was sent back, I would happily buy that discounted paper. Because <laughs> not every, not every paper seems to have the, you know, you can't always buy a single sheet. Super and mega annoying. Mm -hmm. Uh, do I prime my paper? No, I do not. Uh, I prime my boards. I've got like a sealant and then I use gesso at the top, the Jackson's gesso, which is really good. 
But no, I never, I never prime my paper. What do you prime? Do you just prime? But what sort of paper are you working onto? What, uh, this is, what is this? This is, um, what GSM is this? This is 200 GSM, just cartridge. It's, what is it? It is fine grain, heavyweight cartridge. Uh, Dela, and then I have some other 320 GSM heavy heavyweight uh, cartridge that I also want to try. I never prime my paper. Do you mean you have to? Are you stretching your paper and then priming it? These are all things that I just cannot be bothered with. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy to prime boards, no problem about that at all. But paper, I just can't be bothered. But what do you prime it with? Do you just, do you prime it with thin acrylic? Your, cl your classic primer type thing, or do you prime it using gesso? Or, or special primer for paper? Because I know there is special primer for paper, but I just never, I've never used it. I see, I quite like the smooth, so the other stuff I was working on was the horrible watercolour paper that was the hot pressed watercolour paper that is just generally terrible, but I quite like working on it because it's smooth and thick. Uh, you know, it's a way to use it up. <laughs> uh, so, and I quite like Bristol, pa Bristol boards because it's smooth, I like that for the drawing on That really, you know, you, I don't know, you need sort of an in-between of kind of enough. I don't I don't want texture to kind of be picked up in some in some parts of my work. And I do in others. It's kind of, I don't know. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah, that's it. So it's kind of like cheapo gesso. Yeah, I have um when you see wall compound, you mean like polyfiller, right? I think I've used that in the past. Yeah, maybe that's something to consider. But then the paper buckles. Which it doesn't, I suppose it doesn't really matter. But, um, oh, you sand it smooth, but then the paper would just buckle anyway, unless you stretch it, unless it's cardboard. Also, feel free to ignore my questions because you're supposed to be doing a job application. <laughs> Tape it to boards. Oh, as if you were stretching it. The soundtrack is great. Oh, and Subnautica Below Zero came out this week, which I don't know. I have it because I bought it on sort of early access. So I was replaying Subnautica and I've got relatively near the, just near the end because um, it's probably my favourite game ever. But Below Zero just looks bad. I don't know. I have to play it and see. There's some people that there's quite a bit of criticism about it. And I haven't been killing any Nazis recently either. That looks terrible. Why have I done that? <laughs> Ugh. It self straightens when it dries. I don't understand. As, but it would just buckle. I, I, I should try it because it just sounds like it would buckle hugely. So, I mean, I suppose the PVA gives it flexibility.
You needed a break from sounding so professional. Well, welcome to the stream. <laughs> uh, you were asking earlier about um, the uh, the plant. Hold on. Here's the plant. See that on stream. Go okay, the plant. Is the plant this is my lockdown my lockdown child which i'm a bit concerned about the paleness of these new leaves but i'm hoping it's just because they're new but yeah so i started eating the start of lockdown i started eating uh avocado toast for the first time so i like embracing the stupid millennial stuff uh and I, so i started growing so i was eating avocado toast uh, and I decided to try and grow avocado. So I had two avocado pits that I had in jars. Uh, and one of them went mouldy. So, I mean, literally it was in a jar for months. I don't even know how many months it was in a jar of water, you know, doing nothing or gradually sprouting or going mouldy. So I had two of them and the smallest one, which is actually now that plant, was the one that kept going. And the other one I just chucked out because it was manky looking. So, I mean, it was, it was just a bunch of roots in a jar for forever if it was like six months and then i put it in some soil because i was reading on how to look after it and i was like well maybe something will happen and then it it's really enjoyed being in soil and then it grew leaves <laughs> it's like wow surprising plants like soil uh so yeah and quite that and quite that's my pet is my uh which i've not killed yet which is i'm really good at killing plants so yeah it does not have a name uh perhaps it should be it should have a name but i'm not really sure uh why does that look so terrible oh that's also a dumb move everything looks terrible Sorry, I've just realised I've been... <laughs> so the, the, I'm sorry, I should not blow stuff off without muting the mic. Uh, so I'm sorry if I just blew anybody's ears out from that. because That would be unfortunate. Okay, so I hate this less. Uh, which is useful. Let me just take a photo of it. Um, give me one second, chat. Um, let's do this, and then, oh boy, just unplug that, do this, hopefully this still works. Plug this back in. Oh, you're totally not distracting me. It's it's all good. It's often helpful to have somebody to talk to during the streams. As I stream to my audience of one. Which is fine. Bots. How many bots do I have in chat? At least one. Have a drink. How long have we been streaming for? Only an hour. <laughs> it was a lot longer than that. Okay. Let me just get... Hold on, chat. I think I could do with... See if I've got caught on anything before I yank everything over. Let's get some... Um, where is, oh, here we go. Get my sharpener as well.
Right. This needs tightening up down here. Why is my head being weird? Okay, let's try and actually let's get a um a cotton bud Whoa. where are my cotton buds i'm running out of cotton buds no i'm not i've got 500 of them <laughs> let's grab some cotton buds Grab my headphones. <laughs> this is this ridiculous studio yoga where I have to try and not be on camera and turn around and get things and such. <clears throat> okay. I'm just going over trying to blend some areas a little bit to get rid of the little white fuzzy bits that are coming through. Which are particularly annoying. Stand out to me. Hmm. So obviously this could be too flat, uh, but whatever, I just want to blend it. If I'm going to add more layering to this with pencil or something, it doesn't matter as much. I think there is Get all this gross stuff here. This is gross. Hold on, let me cover up the mic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. I thought it was going to... Oh, it is still raining. I thought it was going to chuck it down today, but it it's still rainy, but not quite as torrential as I was expecting.
sad, <laughs> sad cotton buds with no tip. Like my hands. Okay, let's try and clear this off again. Sorry, chat. <laughs> okay, hopefully you're not hearing me blow your ears out. <laughs> okay, I think that's all right for um, base layer. Let me just... Um, Take a photo. Super omega annoying. Scoot back here. There's too much shadow in the way. Bah, 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 bah. Okay, let me put my phone back. Okay. Um, let me just do a little bit more blending. This top area here. I've never played this game, but this soundtrack, this one particular, this particular track from the soundtrack even, as my brain melts, makes me think of Vikings on boats arriving up at land, or people on horseback charging in, or something like that. It's very evocative. The Morrowind NPC music is so great. I've not even played Morrowind, but I just love it. And it's kind of cheesiness. I mean, we could just have the Morrowind NPC music theme on loop. It makes sense. Okay, let's just clear some of this off. <sighs> okay. Um, Let's try adding some pencil on. Be fateful, a fateful choice here. Okay, so 
choice. I already don't like what I just did. Oh well. Oh well. This texture is horrible with this pencil. <laughs> Oh man, I have regrets, regrets. Make that look less phallic, that would be great. Some white on here as well, actually. <clears throat> Sorry, chat, for coughing there. Oh. Again, this is all very slow and precise, which is not usually how I work. Maybe why I feel uncomfortable with it. I mean, it's not necessarily bad, but um, it just feels kind of unnatural. Find my white. Actually, show up and no. Useful. Try just using regular old pencil.
kind of can't see what I'm doing because I'm kind of working sideways. Uh, I mean, the answer is ruining this work. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Ruining things, yes. Uh, Hold on, chat. Let me just have a look at this. Uh, let me just change this so I can see how terrible this is. These line weights are grim. Grim line weights don't show enough variation or confidence doing just too hesitant Ugh. Well, I, I did. I hate it less than I did. Then these. I mean, maybe they can be sorted, but just generally not great. Let's put this one aside for the moment. And let's just move this over a bit for the moment. Okay, let me just go and park this somewhere not here. Okay, on the floor somewhere. Oh, and everything's falling down. Marvellous. <laughs> oh boy. Let's try drawing from something else, maybe, because... Ugh, stressful. I'm feeling stressed, which is dumb. Um... Have a 
quick drink. Okay, it's chucking it down quite efficiently so far. Okay, let's make sure that this is stuck on. Oh. Let's maybe try working from something different. I mean, it's the road squiggles I was talking about earlier. Or maybe I just need to keep working. Let's keep working from this, this one, which is the one I was working from last time. But let's just try and work differently this time. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, chat. Um, music. Okay, let's try working from that. So let's try attacking this in a assertive way, as a different way of working. So let's try and work really quickly. Uh, to block these areas in and then see how we get on. Um, I think an issue here is that I'm, because the areas are larger, I'm having to work quicker and I can't remember what's supposed to be in what area. So I'm obviously flicking my eyes backwards and forwards between different parts of this. Um, but because I'm just having to cover a larger area, it doesn't, uh, it's harder for me to remember what I'm supposed to be doing where.
keep working quickly. Whoa, that was not where I intended to go. Oh, well. Um, so when I'm doing this, I'm sort of overlapping different areas. Um, so I'm condensing down what I see, sort of overlapping and combining things. So abstracting sort of as I go and then reconfiguring and recombining and all that sort of stuff. So I'm kind of, I'm not trying to be realistic in what I'm doing necessarily in an, uh, the question of authentic, what authentic means. Um, it's an interesting one. So I'm using you know, abstracted things, the collage, to work from. And then, but I'm trying to, I'm still using it as a visual source, but then I'm kind of abstracting it down as I go. But yeah, there's too much for me to remember here in terms of what I need to cover. Oops, let's destroy my pastel. Keep trying to work reasonably fast. Lock in the areas. I'm sort of improvising what I'm doing. Yes, to describe it. Improvisation.
Let's add a bit of solidity to this. These quickly blocked in areas. Whilst at the same time trying not to flatten everything as best we can. And it's still working relatively quickly. Uh, shoulder aches. Thank you. 
all too flat and gross. <laughs> gross art. Yay! Week two of making bad art. How long have we been streaming for? Only an hour and a half. Ugh. Let's try and do some blending. Uh, that was buried in a layer of dust. Okay, so what have we tried? We've tried working more quickly. Block areas in. So, keep going with this. I'm just going to give up. Uh, and park this. Uh, so, what else? We've got different paper we could work with. We could work with different media. Uh, for example, with soluble wax crayons uh, could work with oil pass uh, oil bath we order some of those in uh, we're trialing and erroring Also got different paper we could try or we could just give up and cheat artsies you know the typical life choices that you have I thought about streaming the new subnautica actually which would be very uh following current trend but This chat, hopefully, this isn't too horrendous. <laughs> I said blow dust everywhere.
Yeah. I'm going to have a sit down and ponder this artwork. It's just bad. <laughs> just bad. It's too flat, needs more layering. I mean, this bit here is not terrible because it's looser. I really need some of that fixative where you can work over the top of the fixative once you've added it. I don't know. Ugh. Okay, this is... less terrible. Ooh, action music. Time for action. 
Action is incoming. Hmm. Thank you for hanging out, Katabuki. Really do appreciate it. Uh yeah. Get the get get that application in. You'll be fine. Make it happen. Uh keep up the bad work. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I hope you have a good rest of your Sunday and do appreciate the chat. Helps the time pass quicker. <laughs> So I appreciate it. Goodbye. <laughs> I would put a, a nice Twitch chart in chat for you, but I'm away from my keyboard. Yeah, have a good one. It's slightly less horrifying than it was five minutes ago. Feels like that way anyway. The breaking up of things is helping. Still too flat, but better. Stand back and have a look at this. Yeah, it's 
getting less bad. <laughs> Probably the most positive thing I can say. It's getting less bad. Yay! What is the time? Quarter to six. How long have I been streaming? Probably about two hours, roughly. Okay, let me just photograph this chat. Give me one second. Uh,
Okay. I think what I need to do is tidy away. Leave this up for a couple of days so I can see whether I hate it or not. Uh, maybe come back to it. Do some cleaning. <laughs> Very dusty. Um, yeah, so I mean, that was a really stressful first stream, but it's fine because it's done my first stream. <laughs> I've done a first stream, which is great. Um, because I've wanted to work larger on stream for a while. Maybe I need to try working larger off stream and see how I get on with that and see if there's any difference in terms of what I'm doing because that could be kind of interesting to explore and see if there is any difference. Um, I think the artwork that I was just working on, hold on, let me bring that back up. Our workspace is still up, hold on. This one is better. Uh, I'm happier with this one than I was the previous one. And it's, it's the layering and breaking up. So rather than using pencil or color pencil or watercolor pencil, using the uh, pastel, just direct, trying to layer it so I've got a mix of sort of solid areas with marks seems to be much better. Uh, so keeping areas that are loose. Yeah. Well, I'll live with this for a day or so and then I'll see. So it needs to be cleaned up and fixed along with the other one that I didn't like. But I don't know. It just feels weird because it's obviously sort of working longer on a piece because it's just larger, which I need to adapt to. And I'm not sure what the answer is there, whether it's using larger tools or. Yeah, I don't know. I think working faster seems to have worked there. And then layering and breaking up, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I really appreciate everybody hanging out today. Um, I hope everybody has enjoyed the stream. The first stream working with the remote mic. <laughs> And uh, the new setup, uh, maybe we'll be back to doing some boring air quotes gaming streams. Uh, I hope you have a lovely rest of your morning or afternoon or evening, and I will catch you soon. <laughs>